Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about factory design pattern. So without further ado, let's get started. Most common way of categorizing design patterns is by usage of those patterns and it is divided into three main categories, creational, structural and behavioral. Factory belongs to creational design patterns. Factory design pattern is used when we want to decouple creation of subclasses objects from client code. To apply this pattern, we need to have superclass that has multiple subclasses whose objects we want to create based on some input. This design pattern is also referred to as a virtual constructor. By using factory design pattern, it is a lot easier to extend set of current subclasses by only adding them in one place instead of making changes all over the code where these objects would be created otherwise. Get instance method from the Java Util calendar is implemented as a factory design pattern. Method that is creating the objects in factory class is often called factory method, which is another name of this design pattern. Here is a graph demonstrating how factory can be used in a real world scenario where you have different shapes and a single factory class that is creating specific shapes based on some input from the client. If we would want to add another shape, let's say triangle, we would only need to extend the method in the factory class where these objects are created. Bear in mind that for the shape type you can use interface, abstract class or a regular class. In our implementation of this use case, we have chosen to use interface for the shape type and as you can see, we have one abstract method called draw. Here we have also shown a circle class implementing the shape interface and its method draw. Implementation of rectangle and square classes are almost the same with a slight difference in the message logged. Here is the factory class with its factory method called create shape. We clearly see that return type of this method is shape and that based on the shape type parameter we decide which concrete object we will instantiate it. Usage of factory method is currently being displayed. If you look at the console output, you will notice that different message have been logged corresponding to the shape type argument that we have passed to the factory method. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it and you would like to see more content of this type, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and we will try to respond as soon as possible. Till next time, goodbye.